Well, my name is Bob Arnold. I originally started farming up in North Jersey. I moved down here in 1988 and have never regretted a single moment of it. Arnold Farms is located in northern Queen Anne's County. We're about a quarter of a mile from the Chester River. On the other side of the river is Kent County. Kent County always says that they're a better county, but it's not true. Queen Anne's County is number one in the state as far as I'm concerned. And this is three farms that are contiguous to each other. There's about 400 acres of vegetables altogether. Some of it's double cropped. The soils in our farm are primarily Downer and Galestown with some sassafras. These soils are fairly sandy, so we can get a pretty early start in the spring, um, but they do require extensive irrigation to make them fully productive. Water is everything on the farm. You need three things to successfully grow a crop. You need chemicals, which are fertilizer and other chemicals. You need labor to harvest the crop, and you need water. Those are the three primary ingredients of a vegetable crop. And water is becoming increasingly an at-risk part of that equation. We are doing everything on our farm to minimize water use or at least maximize our efficiency so that we're not wasting water. We use uh, return ponds on our irrigation systems. We're using trickle irrigation where it's apl applicable. You can't use it in cauliflower. It's not really very good in sweet corn. You need water for vegetables. That's all there is to it. You, we say here, if you can't water it, don't plant it. The work that's involved is extremely strenuous, and it's done during the hottest part of the year. It involves many hours, and this work is generally not preferred by most local people, so that we have to bring Mexicans in through the H-2A program to work on our farm. Um, I'm very fortunate that I have a great farm team to back me up. Um, Margaret Frothingham is in charge of sales and is the office manager at Arnold Farms. We call her the office genie because she always seems to be able to solve any office dilemma that pops up. My wife and my three sons also assist where possible on the farm. Um, it truly is a family farm. Uh, we give back a lot to the community because we feel we are very fortunate to have these farms and uh, we try to sponsor things for the community, we give away a tremendous amount of produce to churches and youth groups and other organizations, fire departments. All of this adds to the community in which we live, and we're, we're very fortunate in that respect that we have good neighbors, good friends, and I'm very fortunate that I have good help. The other issue is bees for pollination, and as we all know, bees are in short supply. So our cost on renting hives has soared astronomically. In addition, because many of the native bees and wild pollinators have disappeared, we've had to rent more hives to bring in to complete the pollination of squash and melons. Our primary crops are cauliflower, peppers, sweet corn, and mixed squash and eggplant. Acreage-wise, corn is the largest crop, followed by cauliflower. Cauliflower is a little bit of an unusual crop for Maryland. Uh, it requires a lot of patience and a fair amount of skill, and I actually, that's my favorite crop to grow. I think it's because of the color. I really like the color of cauliflower, the leaves, sea green color. And the cauliflower has a certain fragrance to it. It's nice to walk through. It brushes against your legs. It's just gorgeous. For me, a perfect day is walking through corn when it's about 81 or 82 degrees and the wind's blowing just right and the corn's right. It's, that's about as good as life gets. But. That's, well, farmer's markets aren't available to everyone across the state. And so many supermarket chains have picked up the local program and the Buy Maryland. And they're offering their customers the opportunity to purchase Maryland-grown products that are helping, that's helping the Maryland economy and the Maryland rural economy especially, which needs all the help it can get. It's also giving those customers fresher, better produce, probably higher, more nutritious than the stuff coming from far away. So there's a lot of benefits to buying local, and we're glad to participate in the Maryland program.